everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're down in my craft room today where I thought I'd show you my process for getting a junk journal put together. I have done a video of this in the past on where I had everything laid out and I showed you what I was going to be using. I thought it would be kind of fun to walk you around as I pick out things that I'm going to add to the junk journal um, from the different places that I keep all my supplies stored. And you can kind of see how it helps me, how the way that I organize things helps me to find things easily. And what I do, my process for kind of starting a junk journal is to get an idea in my head and kind of write down, just do some brainstorming about what I think that the journal is going to look like or what's going to be inside of it, the types of images and that kind of thing. So I either will actually... I do both. I set up a Pinterest board and I'll do, I'll just kind of like pin different pictures of the things that I think I, I see as part of the journal. And for this, this journal that I'm going to be doing, this is for a travel journal. I will just show you what I wrote on this post-it. This is for travel. And basically I just sat down and wrote about all the things that I thought about when I thought about travel. So I think of like cities, um, it's going to be kind of like a travel girl journal. So um, just like a fun kind of 70s lady running around the cities and traveling with her with her train case and that kind of thing. That's just what I was imagining. Um, lots of fashion, uh, maps, uh, maybe different kinds of food and wine, pictures of food and wine, postcards, tickets, labels, kind of the usual vintage type stuff. So this is kind of a, a start for me. And then what I like to do next is pick out the papers that I'm going to use and the kind of bigger book type pages and that kind of thing. This journal is going to be ringed, so I already know kind of how big the pages are going to be. They're just going to be kind of like a five by seven type journal. So I am first have, have like my larger 12 by 12 scrapbook pages. So I just kind of picked out some different things. I had some Cartabella um, scrapbook paper. I've got some, what else do I have? A lot of this is from, just from my kind of collection that I have organized by pattern. So I'm not totally sure of the, the companies these are all from. Um, some, oh, this is a basic gray page. This is from, I don't even know what this is called, Saturday Morning. I like this because this reminded me of a cafe. Well, it is a cafe, but cafes remind me of travel. So I thought this would be kind of a fun, fun paper with the, with the umbrella seating on there. And then I've got my, you know, some lined pages for, for journaling. And then I kind of put everything in this iris case that I'm going to be using for paper just so I have it all together. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it all, but I just kind of grab whatever catches my eye. I also have some six by or this is eight by eight paper pad this is from this is uh october afternoon travel girl which is perfect for this type of journal so it's got all different kinds of travel themed pages in i also got this is a cartabella uh passport and this has just some more fun kind of travel type things in it so i i've got a quite a few bits and pieces here and then this is these are some larger pieces so and this these are more vintage items so I have some old just I've kind of accumulated these over time old uh what you call these it's like book travel booklets this is for a Swiss Air um so I thought maybe some pages in here might be good um some postcards some ads I have some these are vintage airmail envelopes which would be really good for travel things I have different sizes I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use but I definitely consider those this is just a note card this isn't vintage but I like the pattern and it kind of reminds me of that sort of um kind of nostalgic vintage 70s type feel I don't know I don't know why I'm thinking of this journal as that but that's just kind of what I'm thinking of so I thought this would be nice for journaling. It's just a blank card. Then I have, this is a little scorecard here. I've got some guest checks. I've got this, this is a little, just a little envelope thing with a card in it, but I like the color. This brown kind of seems like travel. And then these I showed in a previous video um, from a trip to, this was Paper Studio um, Hobby Lobby. And I liked the kind of, 
uh, palm looking look of this. This is like a, a envelope that opens up in four different sides. And I thought the palms kind of reminded me of like visiting some resort or something. So I thought I would try to fit this into the journal somehow. And then I've just got some old, some vintage uh, travel little booklets and things. These are from Florida. I've got from a catalog. I had, I was looking for some travel themed things. I've got suitcases. So I thought this is a good place to start. I may add some more things as I need them. I won't use it all, I'm sure. But so this is kind of the paper part of it. So next I like to pick out the different types of ephemera. And I keep them in different areas around my craft room, depending on how I use them. But for my journals, I like to go around the whole craft room. So even in my card making and scrapbooking area and find see if there's some things that I can find in there that might fit with the, the theme of my journal. So I thought I'd bring you around and we can kind of look together through the drawers and everything and, and I can show you how I pick out some things that might go in a journal. So I'll take you along with me right now. So we'll start over here in the cabinet that I keep my tag making things in just so that maybe I can find some tags that might be good for a journal. And I'm using this little tote to kind of carry along with me to grab stickers and things that I find. And I'm just going to put them all in here so that I can just have them in front of me when I'm making my journal. So I'm just going to look in my already made tags bin. And these are things that I've picked up over the years, just like ready-made things nothing that I, I've made, but um, that might be useful for journals. So a lot of blank tags, um, lots of florals that I don't really think would work in this particular journal. Um, this is, oh, I thought it, that's a kitchen, kitchen tags. These I really like. They have some gold embossing on them, and I think it kind of gives that glam look of travel. So I think I'm going to grab those and Put those aside and then I don't really think there's anything else in here that I want to use. Um, this might work too just as maybe like a backing. Um, I don't know somehow I'm seeing a lot of gold in this journal for some reason. So just some other little pre-made tags. Lots, I, I, like, I like lots of florals so I do use those a lot for things. Um, this might work too so I'm going to save that. And I think that's everything for the tags. So I'll go ahead and put this away and then we'll move on to some more embellishments. Oh, I just found one more. <laughs> I'm gonna use this big tag there. That, that would be good for like a luggage tag. So I'm down underneath my craft desk and this is where I keep all of my stickers that I use for scrapbooking. Stickers, rub-ons, uh, chipboard, that kind of thing. This is my drawer for rub-ons and kind of frames and borders. So we'll just go through the rub-ons really quick. And anything that might possibly fit as kind of travel themed, I'm gonna grab. This has some cameras on it. Um, I like the vintage look of those, so I'm gonna grab that to use. Sometimes I like to use rub-ons on the corner of a journal page, like a thin lined page. And it just, if the page is just plain, it gives a nice little pop of color to the page. So. I'm going to grab that too. And then I realize it's both the same thing. It's just the other side of the other one that I just grabbed. I like the suitcase on that um, set too. So that, that'll work really well. And there's just some words, word rub-ons. Um, nothing really that I think would go in travel. These are some frames that have some gold accents. They might possibly work. So I might set those aside. And then there's just some borders, and this is really old stuff. This is a really old Heidi Swap. Um, they're like plastic inserts or dividers. I'm not sure what they were for. These are from a really long time ago, but I like that they have the map on there and adventure, the word adventure, so that might work. And again, a lot of floral, floral themed things that I don't think would work. Um, these are some words, some like clear acrylic stickers with some words on them. I don't think those would work. So 
some more frames. This is stuff that I have just accumulated for, I've been scrapbooking for over 15 years. So it's things I just, I keep around. I don't, I, I never know if I might be able to use them for something. And it's great to grab some things for my journals too, in addition to just using them for scrapbooking too. And sometimes I use them for cards as well. So here's just some other frames. I like the kind of film looking, film strip looking frame that that had. So I'm going to save that. And then we'll just go through really quick and see if there's anything else. I think I'm good with that section. So then we'll move down to my sticker drawer. Let's see if there's anything down there that I'll be, I'd be able to use. So this is just stickers that have different icons on them. So not, um, not so much just total word stickers. I have those in a separate bin, but um, things, you know, that you get with scrapbooking kits and that type of thing. So I'm just going to kind of look and see if there's anything that might fit in with a travel theme. I'm looking at this right now and seeing the hot air balloon. And I don't know, I like the way the balloon looks. And that is kind of something that you might do when you're traveling. So I might set that aside and, and use that. Um, I, a lot of my stickers are, are floral themed too. So I don't know how many of these would work, but, but you never know. There's, I've got a lot of stuff buried down here. So there's, there's a lot to, to sort through. I don't think animals would work too well. This is super old from Cosmo Cricket. And I kind of like the look of this and it has the, the martini glasses. So I'm going to use those just for like the food and drink part of the, the travel journal. And then this kind of has some vintage -y, has a vintage look to it. I don't know if anything would fit in with travel there. So Night on the Town, that's would be something good to have in the travel journal. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep that. I still like everything that's in here. I went through this a while ago and just kind of got rid of some kind of dated looking stickers, but all of these that I have now, I really like, and I do use them a lot for different things. So, um, lots of Maggie Holmes. I love all the Maggie Holmes stuff. And I, I feel like that always kind of stays in style. So down here is the my chipboard drawer, and I definitely wanted to grab some pieces from this. This is a newer um, Tim Holtz, one of those um, vintage little packet things that he has. These were chipboard pieces, and it has a lot of cute things in it that I thought might go with a travel journal. So I'm going to use this puzzle map piece, and I think I'm just going to keep the whole container and just put it off to the side to use because I think that will be really helpful. And then I'm just going to sift through here again and see if there's anything else I can um, use. These are kind of cute. It kind of has a French theme and there's some, there's a bike and camera and then the little macaroons. So I might grab that. There's some Chamel things around the world. I'm going to keep that globe. I think that would be helpful. This, I'm not sure if it's really the style I'm looking for in the journal. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm just, I'll put it aside. Um, those, I don't know what those are doing in there. I, keep, I try to keep all my hearts together because I use them so much. Um, this one I'm going to keep because it's got that camera on it. And I kind of like this one because of the dice. Maybe for like if you visit Vegas or something like that. I don't know, but maybe maybe another another journal. And I don't think that plane would work. It's not doesn't really look like something that you, <laughs> you would fly to travel in right now. So next is my bin of word stickers. So these are like thickers and um, flat word stickers that say different things. And I'm thinking there might be something in here that might go along with the travel theme. So right here, this says adventure and uh, wander. So I'm going to grab that. These word stickers are nice because there's a lot of different sayings. So I'm going to flip through really quick and see if there's something in here I could use. Maybe 
do like a cluster together or kind of a collage of words that have to do with travel. So I'm already seeing travel, um, destination. So I think definitely going to just grab this whole stickered book and see what I can use from there. That was uh, from Tim Holtz. So this is my uh, embellishment drawer. And I just got some of these burlap bows and I think I want to use one. I used them in a previous journal and I think I want to use those. Um, this is cork too. I don't think there's anything in here that's going to work. Um, but definitely I think I'm going to grab a pack of these bows and use them because it, it gives a nice nice um, texture and nice just kind of like bulk to the album too or the, the journal. So and there's some different sizes and I, I also like the hearts and the arrows too so I think I'm going to grab a pack of those and this is just kind of a mishmash of all kinds of little little bits and pieces I did a video before where I kind of go through everything in this embellishment drawer but it's nice to go through because I just kind of keep a little bit of everything in here and you never know there might be something that might work for the the theme that you're looking for so I don't know if that arrow I don't think I like that one for for what I'm looking for. I have a lot of cameras. This might be cute, like a por Polaroid camera and it's black and white, so it might look nice for like a neutral piece in the journal. And I think that's everything in there. Um, this is wood veneers. Those were very popular quite a few years ago, but I still, I keep them around and use them because again, it's more texture. You can color them with ink and Copics and that kind of thing. And I love these word ones, so I'm gonna grab a couple of those. They might work. I'm thinking they might work on a, the side of a page to kind of like use it as a page turner, like kind of glue half of it to the side of a page, like as a tab almost, so that might be nice. And I'm just going to go through really quick, see if there's anything. Lots of the stuff is so old, but I like it. I still, you know, I keep it around because you never know when you're going to use it. This is, these are my die cuts um, that I normally use for scrapbooking. I just keep them in these little iris cases. I did a huge purge of a lot of really old stuff that was kind of dated looking and just kept what I really liked. And so I have, it's a lot more manageable now, but I like to use them for card making and um, scrapbooking, but sometimes the colors and things can, can go along with my journals. So I always take a peek in here just to see if there's, there's something that might work. I kind of, I like the colors in this one, kind of the blues and the gold. So there might be something in here I could use as a background piece so I may keep this just in case. Lots of cameras again. I don't know. I, I'm liking cameras for this journal, so I think I might grab that. Everything else is kind of floral themed, so I don't know. This one kind of has some vellum pieces in it, and this might be, there might be if I go through it more, I might be able to find something that would work or even just, you know, the, the background colors. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to keep this too. So I think that's it for that. And then we're over by my junk journal supply area. This is my vintage pieces. So vintage ephemera, that kind of thing. Um, this is also my bin of scrapbook kits, kit, um, from like kit clubs and that kind of thing. I had them organized in these these pockets and now I'm wondering if I need to change that because I don't know all what I have in there and I'm, I'm wondering if it would be better broken apart because then I'd know what I have. So that's a project for another time. I'm always or organizing. These are my stamp sets that I would use for scrapbooking so that they just have words on them. And sometimes th there might be a travel theme in here somewhere. I, I don't think so, but... Um, I just thought I'd flip through really quick to see if there's anything I might be able to use. That globe might work, but I don't know. We'll see if I, if I run out of ideas or need some space to do something, I might do some stamping. And down here is where I have 
like I said, all my vintage ephemera type things. And I keep my, I have some things from like some die cut pieces from Tim Holtz that I keep in here. And I know there's one set that might have some travel stuff in it. So I think I'm just going to flip through this container really quick and see. The other stuff was floral themed. So I, I don't think that's going to work. Although I might go back and decide I need some flowers in it. Who knows? But for right now, this is what I want to start with. So just some quick, um, just looking at some cards here and seeing if anything could work. I don't know. I can't decide if that's for like a railway ticket or if that's for somebody that works on the railroad. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to, how that would fit in. So go ahead and just kind of flip through really quick and see here's some old postcards and I think these might work they're from different places so I think I'll I'll grab a couple of these to use too I think those are always nice for for journaling and it's got New York City and the beach so grab those and then there's a map of New York City. So I think that might be nice to have too. So I'll put that in there. I love this, these packs that you get from Tim Holtz because it's like replicas of vintage things. And um, I mean, they're, they're just chock full of different types of things. So um, that might work too. A little postcard. And I don't think there's not a ton of travel stuff in here. So I think that's all we're going to do for that. This video is getting very long. So I wanted to just maybe stop at the uh, scrapbook ephemera. No, oh, this is Maggie Holmes stuff that I definitely, I don't think it's going to work in this journal. Um, but I'm going to stop the video for now as I, I'm going to, kind of go through my vintage ephemera and see what things would work off camera and then definitely add those to the journal as well but I thought I would just kind of give you a little trip along and kind of see let you see my thought process and how I like to do things as far as choosing um, products for my journal so if you have any questions let me know and thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video